Yo, yo, what it do? It's your boy, Dredge, TH. And today's episode, we're going to be doing some anatomy posing and a little bit on perspective. And this episode was sponsored by a deviant artist named Villy Valley 16 So shout outs to you. Yeah, this one's for you. All right. If anyone else wants to sponsor me in the future, by all means. All right. So... Here's a cover of the 169th issue of um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Tracy Yardley drew this cover, no surprise there. But just look at how intensely good the characters are drawn. They're so incredibly dynamic. Example, or exhibit A, I should say, being that Sonic's fist is, you know, the small, is larger than his head. Uh, given the perspective so his fist is drawn at an extreme length and people wonder like how can you how can you draw like that how can you draw such extreme proportions but he still looks awesome he still looks like he's he's like popping out of the page almost and that's a really that's this is more of an advanced sort of thing so what i'm going to be doing in today's tutorial is breaking down how i'm able to um draw these sort of bombastic perspectives that a lot of people enjoy and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So basically what it comes down to is just understanding the anatomy and then practicing the anatomy sort of stretched to its limits. So we won't be using these because um, these are pretty intense um, to practice on or to do a tutorial on. So what we'll be doing is we're using this image here. Um, someone commissioned this image and Yardley drew it. And it's sort of that in between, like it's dynamic enough that it looks awesome, but it also you can still see the proportions properly on the character all right so well this will be our example that we'll base everything on so what what i'm going to do is look at how sonic looks here and then we simply have a um a straight on image of sonic so you can see his anatomy more clearly so these proportions between this character and this character exactly the same it's just this one has some perspective applied to it so so let's figure out how that perspective works so firstly what i'm going to do is I'm just gonna all right so here we have make that even lesser okay so here we have the head and the body of the character so i've put those in so you can see how they both work in this drawing However, in this one, you'll notice that it's a little bit different. It's sort of, Sonic's body's sort of um, popping out sort of this way in like three-dimensional space. So what I've done here is I've drawn this extra ring over the top. And when I draw Sonic characters, I actually do this. I actually like separate their heads and sort of um, make flat surfaces where I'd imagine the head connects onto this flat surface here that I've just colored in because it shows me that I'm, t I'm dealing with a 3D object and so when you do that all of a sudden you go from drawing like this to now all of a sudden you have some perspective on the image oh, that was terribly drawn but you understand the point I'm sure okay so the first tip, tip is to make sure to color in or to you know um, emphatically draw when you're in the net stage um, those, uh, you know, little bits and pieces that help you understand that you're, you're drawing something that has perspective. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is understand how the body works. Um, Villy Valley said that they have a little trouble, uh, you know, kind of posing the character and then keeping a sonic perspective. Sometimes you might try and draw a dynamic pose like this, but all of a sudden you give sonic shoulders or something because you're sort of used to drawing like that and you kind of forget how uh, like his proper anatomy works. So to fix that, you literally need to just separate the body, sonic's body, and pose it. So that's what it looks like normally. It's got this little red part here as well. So what I've done is I've just drawn it from four different perspectives um, just so I know what the body feels like in three-dimensional space. So when you, or in order to practice perspective, you need to take an object or a part of the anatomy and then 
warp it in all sort of dimensions. So here we have it, you know, facing straight on. So his head would be like that. Here his head would be sort of back. You know, something like that. Um, here, Sonic's head is would be like here, and his nose would be protruding out. So see what I mean by it? these are different perspectives that you need to be able to draw. Now this one, you know, his ears would kind of be out here, and so um, you know, those th three different perspectives help me to understand how Sonic's anatomy works. So next tip, draw the body, which is simple. It's sort of like a it's like an hourglass shape almost and just bend it bend it all the way see what happens make sure to put in the extra quills and just practice that okay so you see the examples here practice that that's the next tip to learning how to draw characters with the correct perspective all right let's move on to the limbs of the character okay so um, here we see, I've added these little um, forms of articulation, um, just so you can see kind of how it works, how the arms work. So, yep, pretty pretty basic stuff. We've gone over this in another video. Um, so yeah, you can see that. Now the next point is being able to draw those, like we did the body um, body parts. So this one simply drawn because the arms and the legs are just a simple simple line with like a square or a cylinder attached to it that's all it is that's all the arms are so you can get a little creative so this is a basic you know the hand would be here um, the hand would probably be jutting out um, in fact I've added the hands here so I've just simply added the hands and feet to the image um, so you can see you know what the net would look like so if here these are the different ways you can draw the hands um, and I've just adjusted the arms and cuffs um, depending on what the perspective is now note this last one here this one's the most intense um, you know like limb that I drew so here we have this could be a foot let's just say this is a foot so here we have this incredibly imagine that the image is like this you have this incredibly um, close so really wide here and that's sort of the you know this part of the leg is this part here okay so it's sort of you're getting closer to the body but the way I've kind of made it um, I've started off small and then gradually got larger makes it seem like this perspective is quite bombastic and how I've curved the lines um, sort of also adds a little bit of motion and I've made the um, cuff and the shoe a lot smaller than the leg so it kind of shows that perhaps he's moving really quickly or it has a, adds a sense of energy and flow and that's kind of what you know Yardley does so you want to try to emulate that because it's an it's an excellent um, habit it's an excellent style to get into okay so that's like a more extreme example and that's so how have you how you move towards you know these sorts of images okay that's pretty much it um, so practice each little part so practice being able to articulate the body and the head and practice being able to articulate the limbs and feet and hands those are videos in its own right and being able to draw the perspective of heads is a video in its own right but that's just the, the basics now how can you tell if your image has you know perspective um, here's a little thing I like to do just draw like sort of a, a net around the character or like a little case and all this was was I would just draw a square around you know what I like the plane that I think the hand is on and then I would draw a you know a square around the plane that I think the head is on and then I would connect those lines and if the lines looked like there was you know movement in this direction or there was perspective or there was popping out 
you know, that is like a 3D object, then I knew that when I drew the next lines here, um, and they had the same effect, that there was some kind of perspective being applied. You can generally tell that. I mean, it's not <laughs> simple. It's not difficult to see, like, oh, this, that's perspective, or that's not. But I mean, just in terms of getting that 3D effect that you want, um, this might be a way that you can do that. Okay. So it's pretty messy, but you get the point. So, yeah. Let's not wait till the next family reunion to upload another video. Have a good day. Bye.